Okay, students, for this email training, we are going to be using the Gmail or your school email that's within a browser. Okay, so I'm in the Safari browser you can see up here. We're not going to be using the mail app that's down here. They work very similar to each other. If you understand one, you really do understand basically the other one. But just to keep things simple, I'm not going to use the uh, mail app itself. I'm going to use uh, Safari or I could use Chrome if I wanted to and I'm going to be accessing everything through a web browser. Okay, that will make things a lot easier. All right, now that you understand all the rules about how to use your uh, email, let's get right into it. So you can see I'm in my browser here and I'm just at google.com, bum, 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 bum. There it is, google.com. And I just need to sign in. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my school account here, which is this one right here. And since this is a trusted computer, it's my own computer, I have my password already saved. Remember, if you're on someone else's computer or like a la uh, one in a lab or in the library or something, uh, make sure not to save your password on that computer and always remember to log out. Okay, those are the type of things you need to remember. Um, right up here, you can see we can get right into Gmail if we want to. I can also access it through the waffle. I can get to my uh, Gmail account. Even though you have a school account, it uses the Gmail um, hierarchy of how the whole thing works uh, with the Google Suite. So, uh, so you can see here I've got my um, my email, my school email. You see I get a lot of these teacher talk ones. But what's nice is see I can go right through here because these people are using proper subject lines. Like I can see, well, oh, this one's a moving sale right here. Okay, uh, this one is the menu for uh, the 12th of March. Okay. Uh, you know, we got all these things. Here's one about a festival down here at the bottom. Uh, I can just see very quickly which ones I might need to read. That is why subject lines are so important. All right, so let's go ahead and do our first email. Okay, so together then, um, you're going to work with a partner. So it works really good if you have just a classmate that is sitting next to you because then you can ask each other questions and stuff. But uh, for this project, yeah, just sit with somebody. Uh, so that you're together and you can do this emailing. What we're going to really learn about is composing emails and how to use the reply button properly. All right, so let's do our first one up here. I'm going to go ahead and tap on or click on the compose button and you can see I've got my first uh, email. I have a built-in signature file that just comes into mine uh, automatically, so if you don't have that, don't worry about that. Um, okay, and then uh, we We've learned from the other lesson there about the, the carbon copies. And this one is a BCC, is a blind carbon copy, meaning that whoever you're sending it to, they're going to be blind to the other recipients. They're not going to see the names of the other recipients. This is really for advanced users in offices and businesses. We don't really use these in schools very often at all. So let's not worry about those. Okay, so I'm going to send mine to, uh, let's see, it is uh, my tech badges. You can see it already pops up from my uh, address book there at gmail.com. That's who I'm going to email. It's just my other account. Now, please, please, for the love of everything that's good, do not send me an email. Okay, I, I know you see this on your screen. Don't send me an email. For your two, uh, the area for the two area, boy, I just said that really funny. But anyhow, you're going to put your, your classmate, your partner that you have, you're going to put their email address in there. But for this example, I'm just going to email myself back and forth so you see how it works for my two different accounts. Okay, so I'm obviously emailing uh, myself here and I'm going to uh, call the subject line. Um, I'm going to call it science test. Uh, just because I'm going to make up a, a fake situation here, but um, science test question. So my friend would obviously really understand uh, what this question is all about or what this email is all about. It'd be, oh, he has a science test question. So uh, go ahead and to your friend, um, you might want to call yours something like, um, um, we could call these like uh, three questions and we could just kind of play around with them. Why don't we do that? Why don't you just call it three questions and you're going to email it back and forth to each other. And since um, this is my first time, I'll be like, uh, dear, I'll make up a name here. I'll say, dear Tom, even though I'm emailing myself. Um, what is your uh, favorite uh, color? Question mark. Uh, regards, Brad. Okay, so that is a proper, uh, it's very short, but it's at least a proper email. So I've got Dear Tom, what is your favorite color? Regards, Brad. Okay, so that's what I have for my 
Um, let me just turn this off here. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna say got it. So that is my thing. Now go, you go ahead and do the same thing. Let's go ahead and call it three questions because we're gonna go back and forth to each other and just write, dear whoever your classmate is, ask them a question, whatever you want, and then uh, type in a salutation and your name here, okay? Once you have all that, uh, go ahead and hit send. And through the magic of the internet, that has been sent. All right, in the next video, we're going to get that email back. I'm gonna just reply to it on my phone. You're gonna see what that looks like, and then I'm gonna hit reply, and you're gonna learn how to send a reply email, okay? So I'll see you in the next video.